to say? Do you know? Oh Ryan, it's it's for you too. Go with Parker. And who else? Oh. What? I think Dora has one of these. What is it? Looks like Fred to me. What's inside there, Ryan? Yeah. Well, that says Santa Claus. Let me see it. You want me to read that to you? It's a letter. Santa. I need all those pages. Oh, no, it's three different pages of the letter. Hey, that falls like Santa. All right, let me read this. Hmm. Well, let's all sit down and listen. Dear Parker, Ryan, and Garrett. <gasps> he knows Garrett's here. Uh huh. Sit down. Let's listen. It says at the top on the desk of Santa Claus. I hope you three kiddos are having a great Christmas season and getting ready to enjoy visits with your papa and gaga, grandpa and grandma, and your uncles, aunts, and cousins. I hear you are going to be staying home on Christmas this year. I am looking forward to visiting your new house on Christmas. This package I'm sending you has a very special friend in it, one of my little elves, Fred. He came to visit you the last couple of years, but this year is a little different. He's a little older now and has been getting into a bit of trouble lately. I am hoping that you kids can talk to Fred and teach him about being kind to others and not to be so naughty. Mom, you know what? Maybe when you sit him down and you're sleeping at the night, maybe he'll come alive. Maybe let's listen to what Why Santa am I says. Sending him like this? Well, this time of year, this this time we call Christmas gets very busy and kind of crazy. Listen, Everyone just listen focuses on want, want, want. Have you been telling your mommy and daddy what you want for Christmas? Yeah. It's okay to want a few things, but I've seen people, grown-ups and kiddos, get very selfish with all the stuff they want. They want so many things that they forget the whole reason we even have Christmas. Why do we have Christmas? Because it's Jesus' birthday. Yep. Jesus, God's son, who was born a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> the very first Christmas present ever given to the big world. I don't want you kiddos to forget about Jesus as you prepare for Christmas. I want you to enjoy all the fun, hot chocolate, singing, Christmas songs, candy, and presents. But I don't want you to forget about the most important present. God's love for us and his son, Jesus. I don't want Did you to forget you know that? that it's still important to love others, to be nice to other people, to help other people, even your mommy and daddy and each other, to show other people how wonderful Jesus is. So Fred is here to help you kids and your mommy and daddy. Remember these important parts about Christmas. Jesus, God's love, and our job of joyfully sharing that love, that love with others through our gifts, kind words, and loving actions. The things we do for one another. Fred is going to hang out at your house, watching everything that happens, as a reminder for you to love each other, speak nicely to one another, help each other, help your friends and neighbors too, give to people who don't have all the stuff you have. Remember that God loves you kiddos so, so much. One more thing about Fred. He's an Listen. elf, and elves are not exactly the same as humans. Fred stays still all during the day, but he comes alive at night. You can talk to him, and he can still hear you. Fred loves to play at night once everyone else is sleeping. That's usually when he can get into some trouble, so you'll have to watch him carefully. When I told Fred he was going to stay with you guys, he jumped up and down in excitement. He really thinks you guys are so fun, and he especially loves to hear Christmas music. So be sure to play something for him and sing while he's there with you. Take care, my little friend. He and I will talk every night about you kiddos and how you are doing this Christmas season. I'll be back to pick up Fred on Christmas Eve when I come to drop off some surprises for you. Oh, and Parker and Ryan, remember, you may not get everything you wished for, 
and some people may give you gifts you didn't ask for. So please remember to be kind and appreciate, which means be thankful for what you received. That's what Jesus would do. Looking forward to seeing great things and wonderful love from each of you. Love, Santa. What? He knows we moved. And Santa knows Jesus. Christmas Eve? He came before. He came and he would hang out at our house. But this time Santa sent him differently because he wanted you to remember what Christmas was all about. And so Santa wrote you a letter. What are you making that face? What face? <laughs> Mom, can he still... Mom, <laughs> Mom, you know what? When you talk... <laughs> Can he hear you? He can. Even though he's freezed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe if he will come talk in his ear, maybe he'll come alive. I don't know. What do you think, Ryan? Mom, Did you know what? Santa sent that? Do you think Santa did? No. You don't? No. It's one of Where do you Santa's think he came from? He's a Yeah, that was sent by Santa. Can I Daddy needs to have a 